here this snapshot is given maximum and allocation and available uh, we have available resources we have and you have to answer these questions first of all find out need matrix second one is you have to find out a system in safe state and if yes then you have to find out safe sequence next is see these two things are new if request from any process request from p1 arrives for these resources can this request be granted immediately and next is if request from p4 arrives from for this resources then can this request be granted immediately we will check out this thing also fine so first of all find out need matrix need matrix how to find out need matrix that maximum for that process minus allocation of that process because each process has already told the operating system that i will need maximum these number of resources and these number of resources are already allocated so obviously need would be maximum minus allocation so need matrix of this p0 would be maximum 4 minus 2 is 2 here we will write 2 1 minus 0 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is the need matrix fine now next question is you have to find out a system in safe state what do you mean by safe state if the system is able to execute all the processes without going to unsafe state then you can say system is in safe state and in which sequence the system will execute these processes that sequence will know, will be known as safe sequence fine now find out safe sequence currently available resources are this one check out the which need you can fulfill which process need you can fulfill with this available resources so we'll start from p node it needs two instances of a we have three it needs two instances of b we have three it need one instance of c we have two it need one instance of d we have one yes we can fulfill this need fine now we will write p node if you want you can check it out further for the for, for p1 also it needs two instances we have three it need one instance of b we have three it needs three instances of c but we have only two so you cannot fulfill this need same with this one see it it needs three instances of d but we have only one you cannot fulfill this one so same with next one it ne it needs two instances of d but we have only one we cannot fulfill this one same with this one it needs three instances of d and three of c but we have 2 and 1 so we we cannot fulfill this one the system can only fulfill request of p node second thing what we will do just add the allocation of that process to this available because as soon as this process will get all its required resources then after some amount of time it completes its execution and then it will release all its allocated resources so what you will do in available resources just check out the location of p node and add to this one 3 plus 2 is 5 here 3 here 2 here we have 2 now this p node got completed now with the help of this available resources now which process need you can fulfill check out for this one 2 we have 5 1 we have 3 it needs three instances but we have only two so you cannot fulfill this need what about this one it need three instances of d we have two you cannot fulfill this one what about this one yes we can fulfill this one it needs 0 5 it needs 1 we have 3 it needs 1 we have 2 it needs 2 we have 2 so you can fulfill this request so next is p 3 fine now next thing is just check out the location of this p 3 and add in the available resources 5 plus 1 is 6 3 plus 3 is 6 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 2 is 4 now p 3 also got completed now remaining is 3 check out with the help of this resources can you fulfill request of any of these three we'll check out with p4 it needs two we have six it needs two we have six it needs three of c we have three it needs three we have four yes you can fulfill this need you can check it out for this also fine see this need also we can fulfill with this uh, available resources so either you can execute p node or either you can execute p1 so safe sequence can be more than one it's up to you how to solve this question next is p4 now p4 got completed and it will release its resources so we will add its allocated resources to available resources now 6 plus 1 is 7 6 plus 4 is 10 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 fine now next is we have these two resources so obviously i guess with these uh, resources you can fulfill this need also and this need also fine so either you can take p1 either you can take or you can take p2 suppose i am taking p1 now 
add the allocated resources of P1 to this available resources 7 plus this one is 11. Fine. Now finally, we have P2. Now check out allocation of this one and add to this one 10 plus 12, 12, 8 and 10. So, you are able to find out a safe sequence. It means system is in safe state. So, answer would be yes. And what is safe sequence? So, this is the safe sequence. So, safe, se safe sequence can be more than one. Fine. So, uh, I go to this safe sequence. Fine. Now, see you can check it out. You can tell your answer. How available resources are this one and after executing all the processes, you got these number of resources. It means total number of resources are this one. Fine. Now, how to find out total number of resources? Now, see, first of all, uh, at first available resources were this one. And after allocating these resources, these were available resources. So, just add the allocated resources plus these available resources and you should get this number. Then you can say that you are going right so just add these resources these allocation resources 2 plus 3 5 7 9 see now this and this number is same so you can tell your answer like this also now now we will discuss how to solve this question so now the third question is see if any request from p1 arrives for this number of resources then can this request be granted immediately fine see when a request comes, then the system does not grant that request immediately in deadlock avoidance case. But why? Because deadlock avoidance case is futuristic approach. So system will, you know, at that time will not grant that request immediately. System will check if, if I request, if I grant this request at this time, then will I be in safe state in future or will I get any deadlock in future? So, if that system get any deadlock, maybe immediately because of that request or maybe in future, then that request would not be granted at that time. Although the resources are available, but that in that case also system will not grant that request. Why? So, because, uh, it analyzes that, it has some data and it analyzes that data and it, uh, it comes to the point that because of that granting of this request at this time, I can get deadlock in future. So, that is why that system will not that request will not be granted now how how this would be checked this would be checked using the source request algorithm and then finally apply the safety algorithm or you can say bankers algorithm so now check p1 is requesting for resources 1100 and we have this snapshot need of this matrix now so I hope you know that the, that P1 or any process cannot request more resources than its need matrix because each resources each processes has initially uh, told the system that we will need maximum these kind of resources and at this point of time already allocated resources are this one so obviously that process the need matrix will calculate and that process can now request this these number of resources at max. So, if this request is exceeding from this need matrix, then the system will raise a, uh, an error that that process uh, has exceeding its claim. Fine. And second thing is we will check if this request we have this number of available resources or not. So, we will check this request should be less than or uh, less than or equal to available resources. Fine. Now, if this is true, now see this request is P1 is requesting 1100. So, this the need matrix of P1 is 2131. So, obviously, this 1 is less than 2 and 1 is less than 1 is less than or equal to 1. So, first condition is true. Now, we will check do we have the available resources or not to fulfill this request. So, check out our available resources. One instance at need we have 3. One instance at need we have 3 instances of B. Yes, we have these kind of resources. But it does not mean that system will grant this request immediately. No system third step is system will pretend not actually grant that request but system will pretend as if it has granted this request fine and then it will check it will apply bankers algorithm or it will apply that safety algorithm and check in future 
if it is able to uh, find any safe sequence then we can say that uh, that then uh, the system will grant that request if the system will go in unsafe state because of this request then it will not grant this request fine now see so now system at this point system are pretending that it has granted this request now if system grants this request then what will happen obviously the need matrix of this p1 will be changed need matrix would be this need matrix minus this one fine because uh, p1 has requested this one and system has allocated this p system is pretending that it has granted this request so need matrix would be need matrix minus this one 2131 so 2131 minus 1100 now second thing what would be updated is this available matrix because system has system is has granted this request so obviously the, this 1100 this request would be detected from available resources and third thing is already allocated resources are 3121 and again this number of resources would be allocated to this matrix then the alloc alloc allocation of this p1 would become this allocation plus 1100 so after updating these three changes then this this state of the system will be modified to something like this see everything is same only we have updated three things the allocation of p1 3121 plus this one 3 plus 1 is 4 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 1 next we will do we will update this available we will minus these number of resources from this available so this would be available third thing what you will do you will minus this resources this request from need matrix so this would be something like this and all thing would be same now system system would apply the safety algorithm and system will check will i am will i be able to uh, execute all these processes safely and if yes then then system will grant this request now system is pretending system is checking for its future so now at this case now at this snapshot apply that same algorithm that banker's algorithm how you will apply that algorithm find out safe sequence now how to find out safe sequence see with the help of these available resources now now check can you fulfill a request of any any process check it out the p not requires two we have two instances two we have two instances one we have two instances and one we have one instance so we can fulfill this request so see we will execute p1 first fine you can check it out another also and if you will find if you system is able to complete any other process also then you can write down that you can start your safe sequence with that process also it's fine now p1 has been executed now what the next step is what in banker's algorithm we will add the allocated resources of this this process to available resources because this p p0 now got completed and it will release all its allocated resources 2 plus 2 is 4 2 2 2 2 2 now find out now next is p1 now check out can you fulfill this request no why so because it requires three instances of c but we have only two so you cannot fulfill this request at this time now check out this one see it need it it requires three instances of this d but we have only two so we cannot fulfill this request check out for this one zero we have four it requires one we have two one we have two two we have two yes you can fulfill this request so now p3 now what you will add in available resources allocated resources of this p3 4 plus 1 is 5 3 plus 2 is 5 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 2 is 4 now this got completed now find out next next is p4 can you fulfill this request yes we can fulfill 2 it is less than 5 it requires 2 we have 5 it requires 3 instances we have 3 it requires 3 instances we have 4 so you can fulfill this request also now p four now add allocation allocation resources of this p4 in this available resources 5 plus 1 is 6 5 plus 9 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 now p4 got completed now next remaining is p1 and p2 so obviously with the help of this available resources you can fulfill this request also and this also so you can take either p1 or p2 i am taking p1 so after completing p1 
we will add the allocation resources of p1 to available resources now this allocation resources not go for this one because we have updated this state to this state now 10 11 8 7 now p1 completed now next is p2 now add allocated resources of p2 12 12 8 and 10 now after completing all the save this is safe sequence now system is able to get safe sequence now system can grant this request or you can say system will grant this request now after checking this case after checking the safe sequence fine if system is able to get safe sequence then system will grant this request now you can say yes this request can this request be granted yes this request can be immediately granted fine because after granting this request system is able to find safe sequence system will not go in unsafe state now check out for this one if this request comes then can request this request be immediately granted same method you will apply to this also fine and system will pretend first of all system will pretend that it has granted this request now what would be the change in this case in this snapshot cp4 the need matrix of p4 would be changed available would be changed and allocation of this p4 would be changed now the updated state is from this to this one after pretending that this is this request has been granted what should be changed in this state available would be changed this will will do minus of these resources from available resources fine so available would be 3 3 0 and 1 next thing is need matrix of this p4 would be changed need matrix is need of this p4 is this one and this request p4 has requested these resources and these resources has been given to p4 so we will minus these resources to this one so need matrix would be 2 2 3 minus 2 is 1 and 3 again already allocated resources are this one again allocated resources are this one so we will add this and this and this will become 1 4 5 and 2 now system is checking system is applying safety algorithm is system is checking for the safe state of this one if you are able to find out the safe sequence then system will grant this request now find out safe sequence apply that safety algorithm now with the help of these available resources check out which need you can fulfill for this one it requires two instances we have three it requires two instances of b we have three it requires one instance of c but we have only zero so you cannot fulfill this need same with this one so just check out for c i guess because available resources of uh, available instances of c is only zero fine it requires three instances of c but we have zero can't fulfill it require one instance i have zero can't fulfill it require one instance of c cannot fulfill it require one instance of c i have zero cannot fulfill so system is not able to fulfill any process need now obviously the system will go in unsafe state fine and if system find out that if i grant this request i'll go in unsafe state then system will not grant that request so system will say no to this request so answer would be no this this request cannot be granted immediately see although resources are, are available see resources are available so system can grant this request but resources are available but in future because of this request because of granting this request immediately system may get stuck system may be deadlocked so system will not grant this request so this is how system will avoid deadlock so this is a resource request algorithm whatever we have discussed i have written those into steps see first step is if request request of a particular process is less than equal to need then then what we will do then what we will do again we will check request with this available resource if request is less than available then we will go with step three step three is what system will pretend that this, that request has been granted and this state would be modified to another state as we have discussed so system pretend as if uh, request has been granted by modifying the state as follows now state would be followed as what need of that process has been changed available would be changed and 
a location for that process would be changed. So available would be available minus request of that process. A location of that process, see a location i, i means particular process. So a location of that process becomes a location plus request and need of that process, need of that process becomes need of that process minus request of that process. See the meaning of this, this symbol is available is equal to available minus request. I hope you know this thing, fine. And after modifying this state, if, if, see this is not it right now, but after modifying this request, if modified resource allocation state is safe, see if uh, you are able to, system is able to find out safe sequence, then, then, then request would be granted. Otherwise, otherwise say no to the urgent request and that previous or you can say old allocation resource state would be restored. So the, these step we have already discussed uh, when we were discussing the uh, answer of when we were finding the answer of these questions. So I hope no need to explain uh, further these steps you know you got this resource request algorithm. In next video we will discuss how to detect uh, deadlock in the system and how to recover deadlock detection and recovery basically. So till then bye bye take care.